Hello everybody and welcome back to Victoria 2, where I was doing a little bit of research after the last play session again, and I discovered that apparently going after uh, these techs here was kind of pointless, because you can only core if you're a great power in this game, which is weird. Like, there's so many things that you just can't do in this game if you're not a great power. I don't know. A heated debate, huh? Everyone is in favor of free trade. Okay. <laughs> Literally everyone. Gaslights! Factory throughput tech. Yes. That is very, very good. We also have this project available. Hmm, this capitalist wants to build a furniture factory. We've already got one, but I'm going to invest in this anyway. They need another 1.2k. Oh, they, they actually already got the investment there. Navy organization, that's fine. I don't really care. Let's give them all the money they need and get that started. So they're building that in Ethiopian Amhara, which is not a very good place. And all of these ones that are being built by capitalists, I'm not going to subsidize. They can do whatever they want. But hey, we just got our navy tech done, so that means we can start working on our army techs on level 3. And we're just going to continue trying to get as far as we can in the tech tree. Where exactly is our money going right now? Industrial subsidies? Hang on, the royal faction is the ruling party, that's good. But, what are our industrial subsidies going into... Ah. It's going into our explosives factory. Okay. That's interesting. Well, hopefully it'll turn back around. Is there a war that broke out that's causing the uh, price to be wacky? No? Okay. That's interesting. Because we are rather plummeting in our subsidies right now. Most of this is kind of insane. Let's uh, cancel all subsidies for right now. And yeah, they are instantly losing tons of money. I expected that to be the case. Yeah. There's a fair amount of insolvency there. I'm just wondering why exactly it was so very exp- oh, now it's not as expensive. Okay. We seem to be fine. It's now only costing 70 a day for industrial subsidies. Whatever. There must have just been a big price spike for a particular good. Is my current theory. Hey, academic trading and Edward Bernstein and double standard. That's actually all good things. And we're paying a bunch for industrial subsidies again. Where is that all going? Iron. The price of iron must be really high right now. Indeed. Because it would seem that iron is currently the uh, driving driver of this. Based on what I'm seeing here, the steel factory, the lumber mill, so maybe timber as well. Regardless, prices are, like, sky high right now, and that's why this is happening. But that's okay. We can always just close our factories if we need to. However, we are going to have this... Oh, hello, we are... Uh... Tax efficiency increase. We are out of money and going into debt right now. So I'm going to see what happens if we cancel subsidies again. And then resubsidize because that seemed to like reset the pricing on some of those things. It does. That's really weird, actually. That is really very bizarre. Okay, we're going to go for breech-loaded rifles next. I also want to repay this loan. 
And there goes the subsidies again. So there's definitely something that we are buying up. That we are driving the price up on. And that's intriguing. Because if we cancel our subsidies... Is it perhaps coal? Like, Sokoto is, was our coal producer, so we now have to import coal. I'm going to keep boosting relations with them, but I don't think that's actually going to help. Interesting that our luxury clothes factory is actually this profitable. And basically nothing else is. Luxury furniture is a little profitable, but... I mean, largely the reason these aren't profitable unless we subsidize them is because we don't actually produce, like, any goods that we need. At all. Okay, so then... They employ a bunch of craftsmen when we start subsidizing them. And that means that we start consuming a bunch more of a particular good. And look at look at this. There's a shortage of so many things right now. We have a shortage of steel, of ammunition, of coal, of cattle, of fish, of grain, of timber, of lumber, of fabric, of explosives of fertilizer, of sulfur. That's insane. That is absolutely insane how much shortage there is. And then when those things come back, we start buying them up, which causes our, uh, our money to really go down. I mean, this makes sense. Naval organization, that's fine. And then they hire them back. But it takes some time for them to burn through the stockpile that builds up. And then prices just soar from there. I think that's what's going on here. The question is, how do we stop this cycle? National Fraternity is okay. I mean, we could, theoretically... Just bump our taxes. And be like, we're taxing everybody everything. I mean, this does the trick. Okay, Jay Salmer went bankrupt. That's fine. So, I mean, realistically... We are spending so much on industrial subsidies right now. And it's just because the market is currently really wacky. Like, we're exporting grain, lumber, and rubber. We're importing timber, coal, and iron. And that's a huge part of the reason why we have this imbalance. Okay, we can make guards now. Our combat width has reduced as well, which is, I guess, nice? In, most, in, in the other games, getting combat width is good, but in this one it seems to be bad. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. But our current combat width is 25, from improved... is base 30, and then from improved technology, minus 5. Which is interesting. But we can now make guards, which I believe are even better than regular infantry. We can't actually make any, because we don't have the soldiers. However, a speedy maneuvering tactic and futurism and modern logics. Okay, that's all fine. UK discredited, blah, blah, blah. Don't really care about any of that. We will go ahead and, uh, yeah, we can gain some prestige. I'm happy about that. Okay, so... What I wanted to do next is we now have a second focus point. And the question is, what do we work on? 
I think we've got enough craftsmen coming in. We definitely have enough clergy. In fact, we have more than enough clergy. So, let's go ahead and encourage, for right now, I want to encourage soldier growth. There we go. Because I want to actually strengthen our army a little bit, because Egypt is starting to look at us and waggle its eyebrows a little bit. And I'm not okay with this. I'm definitely not okay. So, we're making sufficient money currently. Of course, these factories are being built. However, the upper house was rearranged, colonial negotiation, that's fine. I'm not going to subsidize this factory. I didn't build it. You're on your own. <laughs> I mean, it's probably going to close. And then I might reopen it later on, but these are... It's, it's... Like, we're better off having it expand down here. In my opinion. African Miner Uprising. Um... I want to disperse them. I like them. I like it when they're spread out, not when they're all grouped together. Okay, so our number of soldiers is growing, which is good because that means that we should theoretically start being able to build some guards. Attack of eight, defense of four. So yeah, those are like elite infantry. The best level of infantry, it would appear. So we eventually want to replace all of our infantry units with guards. We already do have some irregulars here, but we want to make sure that we're doing it kind of slowly and not getting rid of all of our units at, a, at once. So that's going to be a thing. Hey, there we go. Breach-loaded artillery. Military statistics, next. Fantastic. We're just cruising through these techs. Which is good, because we have like 13 years left in this game. It's not going to be too much longer, realistically. But, uh... Yeah, we're absolutely cruising through these techs. We just need to stay alive for right now. Now we do have more factories finishing. I'm not subsidizing this one. I'm not subsidizing this one. Excellent. Hello, alliance offer from Yemen. Sure. I'll ally you, Yemen. That'll be fine. Hey, we can now have nine brigades, which I believe means... No, we still can't build a new one. <laughs> Fair enough. But I'm definitely a little scared of Egypt right now. If they were to declare on us, they would be able to win pretty handily currently. But more importantly, they're allied with the UK. Who is ridiculously powerful. And that's definitely spooky. But we're working a bit on bulking up our military. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> Absolutely certain of it. So let's see, this will be done on August 18th. Okay, fair enough. We've got a lot of money right now, so I'd kind of like to be working on some forts. In our border provinces. And so we shall. Ports in all those locations. Okay, that'll be fine. It'll take quite a bit of time to build all of them, but we'll get them started. In fact, how much does it cost per fort? About 6,000? That's not too bad. Could do that. Percent of clergy keeps going up. That's interesting. Okay, we'll expand that fort, get ourselves army decision-making. We are absolutely cruising through these techs, which is great. 
I really wish that we'd get this synthetic die uh, invention. That would sure be nice. 4% chance every single month. Management strategy will increase that. That's all the way down here. However, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to probably cut our taxes. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you all next time.